venting from the tank to maintain pressure. Falcon is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Now, in just a few seconds here, we'll wait for the final launch director. Go for launch. Time to let the American broomstick fly and hear the sounds of freedom. LD is go for launch. LD has given that go for launch. All systems are go. Let's listen in to the terminal countdown and watch as Falcon 9 30 seconds. takes our Starlink satellites to space. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power. And lift off. Falcon 9, 7, 4, 10. Vehicles pitching down. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of 48 telemetry nominal. Carrying our stack of 48 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Moments ago, we throttled the 9 M1D engines down, reducing the speed by decreasing the flow of supersonic fuel to the engine. Now that's in preparation for max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see coming up in just a few seconds. Max Q. There's Max Q, and we will have three events happening here shortly. We will have main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine startup one. Now, main engine cutoff is where all nine of those M1D engines currently burning will shut off to sl slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, stage separation. Now this is where the first and second stages will separate. Now the start of our second engine, MVAC Chill, has started, as you just heard. Now after stage separation, the first stage will make its way back down to Earth for landing, uh, whereas the second stage will continue on its journey to the third event of second engine startup one. That's where that single MVAC engine will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. The cool views of the first stage with that earth, with the Earth in the background. Just about 10 seconds from main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Off. Can see on those cool, you can see on those cool live views of the first and second stage, uh, you can see the fairing have just popped off there, um, but we did have a successful main engine cutoff stage separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And second engine startup one. And as you saw, we had a successful fairing deployment. Again, SpaceX has reflown the Falcon fairing half since 2019, but again, the fairing halves flying on today's mission are brand new and we will be attempting to recover them on uh, our recovery vessel, Doug, for a future mission. You can see cool live views from the Falcon 9 first stage on your left with its grid fins deployed, and the second stage on your right with that single MVAC engine burning. 
as second stage heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink satellites. Stage one will complete two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. Now the first is the entry burn. And this is worth three. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. The entry burn is where three of the M1D engines will reignite to help slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And the second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. If you're just joining us, we've had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Slick 40, and right now you're looking at live views from the first and second stages, with the first stage currently making its way back to our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas in the Atlantic Ocean, and the second stage carrying our stack of 48 Starlink satellites to their low Earth orbit. And this is our 10th mission of 2022. In fact, it's the 10th mission in 10 weeks and the seventh Starlink mission of 2022 so far. Vehicle on nominal trajectory. Now the Merlin engines on that first stage are optimized for sea level. So they achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And in contrast, that MVAC engine that you see on the right side of your screen is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. And the main difference between these two engines is the size of that nozzle that you can see on the second stage there. It's much bigger than the M1Ds on the first stage. There's also a cool glamour shot of the Falcon 9 grid fins on those live views from the first stage on your left. And these are four hypersonic grid fins that are positioned near the top of the first stage. And they help to guide and steer that first stage as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere and uh, helps orient it as it comes down back to Earth. The Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made out of carbon fiber aluminum honeycomb, and they're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket. So you'll want to watch out for their deployment just prior to landing. We're coming up on our entry burn here shortly in just about 20 seconds here. And again, this is a three engine burn meant to slow that first stage down as it hits the thicker layers of the Earth's atmosphere. The burn will last about 20 seconds or so. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. At the start of our stage one entry burn. Stage two FTS is saved. Vehicle on nominal trajectory. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Just had a success.